Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Solo React Talk. Tonight, I'm going to be reacting to DSX Mankind Divided, part, I think it's 21 now. Yes, part 21 made on the Far Grain Danube YouTube channel. If you guys want to check out my previous reaction to the other parts, remember the playlist card is going to be at the top here. Just click on it and be able to access them. If you want to check out the original video as well as Far Grain Danube's YouTube channel, the link links are going to be in the description below yes uh part 20 we're back in the office with Adam ranson um i was hoping that he would be able to talk with the director director miller and with mccready about his responsibilities his position um and his limit of authority or um how should i say that while well, his responsibilities within Task Force 29, because it seems like uh, the leadership squabble between uh, McCready as well as Adam Janssen is, you know, it's it's becoming unobtainable. It's becoming confusing, and we need Director Miller to set things straight to say who is responsible for what and where and how. I think uh, the director has to fix that up with these two because I see a potential issue here you know brewing and when they're on another mission it's going to be a very complicated messy situation so hopefully director Miller can fix that up um, and then Adam Jansen also went to the psychiatrist uh, she was very helpful she even tried to give Adam Jansen some nephrosine of course uh, Adam Nansen doesn't use nephrosine because his body uh, doesn't uh, reject his augmentation. Uh, but Adam Nansen gave <laughs> his nephrosine uh, subscription to, or prescription, sorry, to a, another person who was addicted to nephrosine. So at least that guy has some nephrosine to help him out with his addiction. Uh, but he needs to figure out a way to, uh, you know, distance himself from that type of substance uh, so that he can be totally free and clean from it and yeah basically we were just dealing with a lot of office work and Adam Jansen has also been walking out in, into the uh, into the town CBD of uh, Prague and yeah we've been going through tunnels or should I say uh, service sewage places not not necessarily sewage but you know municipal areas you know where there's maintenance being done where there's electrical cables and other forms of piping uh, for houses and, and uh, businesses so yeah we've just been exploring uh, all over and Adam Jansen still has multiple submissions to complete uh, so let's see what happens now in part 21 hmm. okay Three, two, one, go. Is that guy playing chess by himself? How are you going to spin okay. that one in court? I don't have to. The police officer is prepared to testify that it was self-defense. The shopkeeper pulled the knife on my client first, and during the altercation, the knife fell through a sewer grate. Oh, I get it. Your client and the cop have a um, pre-existing business arrangement. Nice. Well, we were told that corruption in the police force or police service in mm. Prague City so was good. quite high. Hey, you. We got multi-tools for sale inside. Okay. Over here, friend. I have what you need. How do you know what I need? Welcome, welcome. Nice gear you've got here. All high-end. And you look like you know high-end. Which biotech did your job? Not Isolé. They don't come in black. You try this on all your customers? Just the ones made of carbon fiber. As one enthusiast to another, you can tell me. Gonna have to disappoint you. Maybe you can make it up to me. You look like the kind of man who might have access to breach software. That stuff's illegal. 
Come on, man, don't play around. You know why it's illegal. You know the world governments don't want us to find out their dirty secrets. But we will, and you can help us. Be part of the revolution. Anyway, just think about it. All the details are in the computer. Want to have a look? To sell or to buy? Sure. Mm. Great. Go ahead. This is fantastic. The cause is very, very grateful. Take this. A gift for a true freedom fighter. Wait, which cause? Which what freedom are you fighting for here? Which one is it? But at least this kiosk uh, salesperson is, you know, far more kind and respectable, unlike those other shady people who have their businesses in apartment buildings. You know, they're always swearing at Adam Jensen, they're always angry. At least with this guy, he's kind. And uh, it seems like he's good at his work here. You know, he, he likes his job, if I can say that. Yeah. I mean, you don't want to enter into a store and be frustrated because the employees of that store are angry at you for no reason. No fortress heroes on board attacks. I'm good for now. Don't wait for planned obsolescence. Too long? They just joined up last week. Uh huh. Wow, they sell controllers for a PlayStation 2 in this store. Okay, I don't know if it's a PlayStation controller, but, you know, game controllers. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Monitors as well, and towers. In the market for something, aren't you? You interested in some hacking software, maybe? You see, those guys know how to operate a business. They're kind, they're courteous. Identification, please. They're welcoming. They give you all the information okay. required if you You're want anything. Go. Thank you. And you're relaxed. You don't feel tense. You don't feel like you're gonna get angry at these people for no reason. Now those shady people, they need to learn how to do business like this. That's a big club. Wow. Human. Hmm. Okay. Luckily, I brought the right tool. Welcome to a brave new world. Anything. Hello. Just I hope you're me. enjoying the. Oh, I have to find some. Sorry, I, I, I thought you were with the tour. How do you know I'm not? <laughs> Wouldn't treat a dog like that. How can we make deals with them? Skoro mi připadá, že jsme v komutu s Rusákama. Else to say. It's been closed for ages, maybe a year or more. My niece loves those little marionettes they used to have. The ones that look like dogs. I was going to get one for her birthday. Who could get her a real dog? No. She's an irresponsible little idiot. Trusting her with a piece of wood is as far as I would ever go. How can you talk about your daughter that way? Oh my gosh. Lady? They love to tear us apart. Switch up patrol. This is a dark side of the town, it seems. And why is there a poster of a man swallowing pills? 
Huh. You mind taking Stay one away. Of my next week? Seems like the pharmacy companies here really have this place locked down. If they can show advertisements like that. Wow. A customer, welcome. Hello. Hi. This isn't worth it, cousin. The Zelen woman must be crazy. Pushing two golem shipments in one week is stupid. When once every two weeks is already risky. I know your family and all that. And the extra cash is great, but I'm not sure I want in on this anymore. My ma would dig your own grave if she knew what you'd got me into. You might need to find another driver, sorry. Okay, what are you guys shipping into the golem? Hmm, must be neon, right? Or oh, Nephrozin, but I think it might be Neon. Access granted. Access granted. Oh, money. Wow. Sounds like someone's in the house. But knowing about this game, uh, <laughs> you know, Adam Jensen just goes into anyone's house and does whatever he wants, and nobody does anything, so he should be fine. Stop your work. I can only hope this catches you in time. I tried calling you, but you're not answering. And the person I spoke to at the university said you are not at the university for the foreseeable future. The sample I sent to you is live and should not be used. Do not expose yourself to it. The risk of mortality through respiratory failure within 36 hours is extremely high. Oh, okay. What is this? 
I can only say how sorry I am and hope that you're checking your emails. I can't believe this has happened. But after I send you something, but after I send you something you could use for your for your cross tests as we discussed, I took a closer look at the overshipment paperwork and realized it wasn't what I thought it was. That is to say, the batch I borrowed from was supposed to be intent but or inert, sorry, but for some reason it was live strain. So they're talking about some sort of like a virus? Huh. The problem was, and I don't know why we're even handling this, the material appears to be part of an order we're handling for our parent labs in Hong Kong. I'm just shocked that something like this is quietly set in short-term storage. BSL-2 is supposed to be used for part synthetic biomaterials used for emulation tests. If I had known, I would have, I don't know, but this is awful. Please get back to me as soon as you can, or as soon as you read this, and put my mind at rest. Thank you, or oh, thank God, it's just a micro sample at least. You should be able to. You should be able to dispose of it fairly easy if you have protection. Hmm. Is this strain a biomechanical in design or is it like nanomachines or is it just a fully naturally occurring disease that's mutated over time and now they're collecting strains of it or something? I'm just wondering about that. Um, just uh, there's more words that are covered. Okay. Case subject, final decision, R.E. J. Chavatal and G. Appel. Appel, okay. Professor Wessel or Vessels, okay. I reviewed the case of your two students, Jessica Chavatal and Gustav Appel, uh, very carefully with uh, when first suspended and I have been no less diligent during the follow-up in trying to determine their future here at the university. We are not a court of law where specific trans transgressions receive specific punishments. Our situation is much more nuanced. This is a place of study and learning and we have the duty to ensure that the majority of students have every opportunity to apply themselves. Of more concern, the presence on campus of augmented students, <coughs> sorry, augmented students uh, re researching nanoviruses. Oh my gosh. And that's, this is connected to that email. Okay. So it's a nanovirus. All right. A chilling weapon in the potential future arsenal of terrorism. Okay, can create anxiety on campus and within the public perception surrounding our establishment. Regardless, the intentions of the students, the board of directors have left me little choice in applying the strict stance we have in supporting the authorities regards, uh, hmm? authorities regards terrorism, all right? So it is with regret that I inform you that the relationship between our university and these two students is to be upheld. As I said, this was not a decision alone. Uh, uh, this was not, uh, not my decision alone. And we have the interests of Uh, interest of various parties to consider, but I do not stand fully behind it. I continue to understand your concern in this matter, but implore you to, to allow the process to play out as it should. As mentioned earlier, we've arranged for you to take some involuntary leave to gather yourself and return refreshed and focused before the next semester. Dr. Alan Kuh 
Kruka, okay, Dean of Prague State University Medical College. Huh. But why aren't there laws already in uh, the Czech Republic that regulate nanotechnology? You know, so that complications like this don't occur where students and uh, people who want to experiment with such technologies are not, you know, given surprises, uh, being told that you guys are suspended because you're dealing with very dangerous substances. The national government should have already put out or gazetted law that regulates the use of nanotechnology. And if they go against that law, then yes, they'll be in trouble. But if they know about the law, the current law, dealing with such technologies, then they wouldn't be in this position. But anyways. Uh, all right. We force, okay, world police. We foresee a time when the world's authorities have have a more internationally enabled approach to fighting organized crime and terrorism. Already the ever increasing influence of the United Nations, especially in these times of trouble and confusion and increasing terrorism has led to the formation of special task force. Under the nominal command of Interpol and currently based in Lyon, Task Force 29 was formed in 2028 and named for the 29 founding member nations due to the sensitive and highly confidential nature of task force 29's affairs the organization is not advertised to the public and operates under a strict code of professionalism and secrecy such as any similar agency would where might this lead in the near future it is likely that the that a unified force fully outside the jurisdiction of any political power in uh, is on the horizon okay ratified by the united nations the force would circumvent international red tape and would be able to respond to global threats without the interference of local authorities Ooh, i don't think i like that i honestly don't think i like that because this organization would need to answer to someone and who would it answer to the united nations i don't think so the united nations oversight abilities are you know they're dependent on the nations of the united nations if a security council uh, country decides that no we're not going to investigate the 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 the, the police united nations police force because of political reasons and they can veto any kind of notion of investigation of task force 29 or any organization that will replace it as an international body then we're in trouble here because this will create uh, uh you know corruption where the powerful nations will have a say and will have a go on what happens and they will give complete carte blanche to this organization to do whatever they want to do wherever they want to do it and the smaller nations won't be able to have a strong enough voice to say that guys we need to investigate this organization that we have created so i don't think uh you know national governments should give up their uh, you know, their autonomy and sovereignty when it comes to uh, the police and the justice system. That should always be in the hands of individual nations. So a international police force that has, uh, you know, jurisdiction and complete carte blanche to do as it pleases across the world, I don't think that's the right thing to do. Individual nations should still have their own police force or service and the criminal justice system should also still be independent and tied with the national government or you know the government where it's based not with the united nations um okay Doc dr flatwick all right this is your final notice operations have been suspended at the prague branch and you and your team must vacate the premises within the next 24 hours 
we will send the team to close up the shop and remove your remaining medical supplies. Thank you. Oh, wow. All right. Elizabeth Malone. Oh, to Dr. Flitwick. All right. Linda Flitwick. What is all of this? Looks like glass or mirrors or something. Or maybe it's like a chandelier of some sort. Interesting. Make it. Oh my gosh. Any trouble getting away? Miller's been giving me some leeway, but not much. I did survive a terror attack. You and me both. God, sometimes I really hate the city. It used to welcome people like us, go out of its way to entice Ogs to live here. This clinic was built because Prague saw us as its future. Now, look at it. Times change, Alex. I know, trust me, even got the scars to prove it. We've been working together for a few months now. Still don't know much about you. What, you trolling for my secrets now? Just the good ones. How did you join the Juggernaut Collective? Well, they got me out of a tough spot. Before the incident. I was working for Bell Tower flying VIPs around Panama and I stumbled into something big. Something very important people didn't want anyone to know about. So, they ordered Bell Tower to kill me. Janus warned you? Got you out? A friend of Janus's, someone in the Collective who used to work for Bell Tower, too. You don't mess with these people, Adam. Not by yourself. I learned that the hard way. Yeah, Bell Tower does You're a valuable asset. Yeah. The Collective could have sent you anywhere. Why Prague? You really need to ask? Ever since the incident, paranoia and racism are eating the city alive. The whole world's watching just to see how Prague handles its AUG problem. Didn't realize the entire Collective was pro-AUG. Not everyone is, but we all know our real enemies need chaos to operate in. Play the right chord, pull the right string, and Prague has plenty of that. You said we got something? Yeah, listen to this. A little heads up would have been nice. Sending your team to Dubai was my call, but now we need to go to the book. Focus on Ark. You want me to pin all of this on them? The bombings in Prague? The break-in at Vesselai and Dubai. Officially, all five attacks involved augmented terrorists. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But send me the reports if you want me to prove it. Because ARC don't operate in North America. They're setting up ARC, Adam. They sent you into that ambush in Dubai, and now they want to pin everything on the Augmented Rights Coalition. I told you Miller was dirty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is not good. This is not good. Miller. So you really are a spy. You really are working for probably the Ill the Illuminati here. Huh? Disappointing, very disappointing. And what about McCready? Is he also part of this, or is he just, you know, believing that he's just working for Task Force Twenty Nine? Damn. So if it's not, uh, you know, Ark that initiated this terrorist attack, who is? Who who did this? You know, which organization did this? And like Smiley said, that he also doesn't believe that Ark did this like he he wants to have a full investigation in you know understanding what really happened uh in that terrorist attack and i 100 percent agree with him and now with this new information it just 
you know, solidifies my position on that I don't know who did this. I can't just blame people uh, simply because, you know, they are combative or they are revolutionaries or, you know, they're very violent in the way they do things. We have to have clear evidence on who actually did it. So, yeah. Wow, this is surprising. Sounds to me like Miller's following orders. It also sounds like he's not happy about it. All right, whatever. Maybe he's just a stooge. It can't no, no. Why would he follow such orders? Why would he risk his own professionalism as a uh, police officer or as someone who works in the, uh, you know, law and justice? Someone who works for the United Nations, someone who works for the for Interpol. Why would he risk his own integrity and 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 follow the orders of someone uh, that is falsifying information, who is lying, who is accusing an organization for terrorism when there is no evidence to stand by it? Why would Miller do that? can't say the same about the man he's talking to. His boss, Joseph Manderley. Director of TF-29 operations worldwide. The only person at Interpol higher than him is the General Secretariat. We need to play this smart, Alex. Think about what we heard. What was that bit about VersaLife? You mean the break-in that never happened? Yeah, I started digging into that right after I decrypted the conversation. What'd you find? Like I said, man, it's the break-in that never happened. VersaLife is one of the biggest pharma companies on the planet. The only one still manufacturing neuropazine. If it got broken into, it would have been big news. So why are they saying it did? VersaLife doesn't produce just neuropazine. They've got a huge research and development division. Yeah? So? What does that have to do with ARC? Why frame them for break-in? They want them to look like terrorists. I guess it depends on what they'll say was stolen. See what the Collective can dig up. If this really is a conspiracy, that break-in will be the threat to pull on. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna finish my investigation. Find out who really bombed the station. I'll let you know when I turn up. Same here. Good luck, Adam. Man, that is so cool. <laughs> but I guess I know where Miller, we're going now. We still going to Olam City? You are. Meet me at Kopecky's puppet shop. Your pilot's en route. I'll brief you there. Copy that. Hey guys, I just don't trust Miller now. I don't. But yeah, let's just wait and see what happens. But keep your eyes open, Adam Jansen. Okay, what is this? A series of contained bomb blasts through. Oh, I think we've read this before. Yes. Yes, we've read this before. Conspiracy is not a dirty word. Anti-capitalist radicals will cite the passing of the Corporate Sovereignty Act 2017 in the United Nations, the establishment of pro-corporate institutions such as the Palisade Property Bank existence from 2017 and the policy change that allows large corporations to sit on the United... What? Large corporations should sit on the United Nations Security Council 2021 as a sure sign that the world is no longer run by sovereign. Exactly. Why would they allow something like that? That's madness. Oh my gosh. Uh, sovereign governments, but by multinational conglomerates. And what is wrong with that? What is wrong with that? Are you really asking that question uh okay sorry guys <laughs> this is this is just 
Yo, this is shocking. Um, corporate power should be thought of as a mode of political power because ultimately corporations are the people and represent the people's interest in the in their best interests right right every corporation's mandate includes economic growth expansion and development all desirable and necessary goals for the well-being of human society and arguably history has shown uh, that they have been much more successful as this than most governments because it's a business a business doesn't have to care about the well-being and the safety of the people a business uh, a main focus is to create an environment for its own profit making they are not here to protect the people they're not here to protect uh, the human rights of the people they are not here to make sure that the world is you know equitable for all so i don't know what that editorial piece there was trying to push because it's not convincing me <laughs> definitely madness corporations on the united nations security council yes, yes. i didn't vote for these people no one Everyone voted for these corporations to become representatives of i don't know how many billions of people now live on earth but no one chose them to become our representatives they they essentially imposing themselves on us saying that they are the leaders of our of, of the world no man Uh, okay, welcome aboard. Not sure if you've received this in your welcome package. Did you get uh, your work? Uh, did you get your welcome package? Sorry, but in case not, here's your magic number, the code for the employees only area. I know what you are thinking. How exclusive? Uh, let me j just do this. Sorry, guys, I've got gas. <laughs> um, how exclusive but it isn't but it's not really all right everyone gets one anyways glad you could join us see you around oh feces <laughs> almost forgot the code ha 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 it's 2548 Why aren't the monitors working? <laughs> yeah, drag him. So this guy was just sitting here with w monitors that were not working. Hey, okay. Attention all. While it's sad to see so many people on the streets we can't just leave the station open to anyone wandering in and hiding themselves away homeless or not it's not great for play uh, for paying custom oh yeah for paying customers and poses a serious security issue uh, let me just zoom out security issue yes in light of the recent attacks i have spoken with the uh, powers that be and they have agreed to install new security equipment i'm going to 
be out for the day so when the security guy from sport sport chuck shows up uh sport chuck shows up someone will need to let him into the server room and keep him happy keypad code 9143 all right Yeah, it looks like the monitors and the security system is just not working. Or maybe that guy has yet to come to the station. Maybe. server room Wow, guys, yeah, that is it with DSX Mankind Divided, part 21, made on the foreign, uh, Fog Rain Danube YouTube channel. Um, yeah, <coughs> Miller. Miller could possibly be a double agent, a spy, um, working for Joseph Manderling, or Manderling, Manderlong, yeah, him. <laughs> um, and that's extremely concerning really it's concerning that you know the director of task force 29 is compromised and he is working uh with an organization or with a grouping that wishes to use this terrible situation to their benefit where they blame other organizations like the augmented rights committee or arc for the attack at that train station uh, it's really concerning that, you know, Miller is going along with this. Whether he's doing it because he's following orders or whether he's part of this, uh, you know, grouping, the fact of the matter is what he's doing is wrong. It is wrong. Because now this brings Task Force 29 into disrepute. Because he is the head of Task Force 29. And if the head is blaming organizations for terrorist attacks without any evidence uh, you know to support it and people are expecting to have answers and if the answers are not matching up with what has been acu uh, you know brought up as accusations against uh, the arc organization then literally miller has brought his organization into disrepute his professionalism will be brought into question and whether he uh, he's actually really working for Interpol or is he working for some shadow organization you know can we trust him and yeah I'm just hoping that it's only him that's in this kind of situation and it's not involving McCready or anyone else in Task Force 29 
um, and hopefully Ari Manson can figure that out uh, to see you know where does this corruption start where can he root it out I don't know about reaching up to Joseph Mandolin I don't know if he'll be able to get to him uh, because it seems like this person is extremely powerful individual so I don't know how much jurisdiction or power you know or any f sort of availability can Adam Janssen impose himself on this situation you know how far can he go I'm not entirely sure um, and we also got to see Alex again and they were talking about the Juggernaut Collective and talking how about how she was recruited into the Juggernaut Collective and yeah Adam Janssen was also talking to a a electronic store owner or you know the employee at the kiosk and you know he was talking about freedom uh freedom fighting or you know fighting for the cause i'm asking myself which cause are you talking about uh which grouping do you belong to he never said uh so now i have to assume i have to guess <laughs> and i'm not entirely sure which grouping does he belong to exactly uh, but I did like how he operated the, the, the store. I like how welcoming he was. I liked how his security guard was also very helpful with the information and also wel wel welcoming. Unlike other people that we've seen, you know, with their businesses in apartment buildings, how very unprofessional and just a hostile environment uh, you know going into those places so at least here it was a breath of fresh air and it was an enjoyable experience yeah How, however short it was it was really enjoyable yeah <laughs> um, and yeah we've just been going through other you know people's homes and apartment buildings and uh, you know reading up on information about the United Nations having uh, businesses conglomerates on the United Nations Security Council crazy stuff crazy crazy stuff and also the fact that you know in the near future the united nations might actually push for a global police force that will have complete jurisdiction uh you know encompassing all the united nations member states and they would be above any police national police they will have complete carte blanche to do whatever they need to do or whatever they want to do in terms of investigation, arresting, uh, you know, questioning uh, civilians across the world. And it seems like the only oversight that will exist for this organization will be the United Nations. And like I've said before, the United Nations is not the, the, the body that can really you know, oversight something like this because there are nations in the United Nations that have veto powers. You know, like the major nations of uh, the West, they have NATO. They have uh, veto powers. They are able to block any type of investigation or uh, you know proposed investigation of this police task force. And now that we hear that there's conglomerates in the Security Council, it just makes it even worse. This entire organization is now uh you know assumed uh by not only big nations but the nations where the conglomerates are based so it becomes a a toxic corrupt system that benefits those uh, who are powerful in the united nations and then the rest of uh the na uh, rest of the nations within the united nations now have to uh you know try to, to convince those powerful nations uh, for any type of investigation or any type of uh, questioning that needs to be done uh, on this new police task force that will be created. So yeah, it, it's just a bad situation all around. Um, yeah, this world needs to be fixed. <laughs> I don't know how, I don't know in what way, in what shape or form but it needs to be fixed. The United Nations itself as a body has lost its meaning. It's becoming a place where uh, big businesses, big countries are able to do what they want while the rest of the world can only sit and watch. This organization needs to be killed 
you know, need to chop it down, uh, you know, even poison the roots, even destroy it and restart all over again. I think that's what's needed. Yeah, shocking. Guys, that is it. That is it for tonight. Uh, remember, if you want to check out the original video as well as uh, for Green the Noobs YouTube channel, the links are going to be in the description below. If you like my reaction, please give me a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Click on the notification bell if you want to be up to date with my latest videos. And I'll see you guys hopefully next week. Okay, bye bye.